everybody uh, today I have a special um, video for you uh, regarding a care tip um, you know, video for this um, Latoria denarium which is called um, Polysema times Aberrance um, this is a collab with um, Ninja Orchid channel uh, I'll link her down below and um, I'm sure you all know her by now uh, that uh, she requested everyone who have uh, similar um, orchids with her um, because she lives in, in Barcelona in Spain and I live in UK and so we our growing conditions are different so she suggested that whoever is watching her videos and like to make a video about um, a similar uh, orchid that she has and they have uh, they can make separate care care uh, videos and uh, upload it at the same time to the uh, YouTube and um, people can um, show and look and learn about different conditions of uh, growing uh, orchids so I thought this is a very good idea and uh, I decided to collab with uh, Nina and um, that's why I'm doing this video today so, um, as I said, this is a, a Latoria dendrobium called um, uh, Dendrobium um, Polysema times Aberrance. Uh, I got this orchid um, about um, three years ago, three and a half maybe, as a young seedling. And uh, as you can see now, the, uh, it's in bloom. Uh, it actually bloomed uh, two times uh, in previous years for me as well so the first year I think after a few months later maybe six months later bloomed as a young seedling uh, and, and it, it came with only three or four of uh, the pseudobulbs and started blooming look at all these um, dry um, bloom spikes so they can bloom very early, um, you know, once they got like uh, mature a little bit, they can they can bloom. They usually bloom on the uh, previous year's mature uh, cane. Um, so the stem on the nubium we call it cane. Um, so they, they bloom on the previous year's mature uh, cane. So for example, this one, which has a bloom, uh, it was uh, matured last year and now it's blooming um, so and um, I have to tell you this is the best blooming I've ever got for this uh, Latoria dendrobium okay, this one is ha it has a uh, five and it's been, and it's been in bloom for more than I don't know three months now almost and I can see only one of this is almost going but the rest are still uh, going strong and beautiful as you can see the blooms are very nice lovely uh, bloom with uh, spots at the back I really like that the spot spotting at the back oh I made a mess <laughs> as you can see I grow this one uh, at the moment in a, a semi hydro uh, semi hydroponic uh, setup so I used to uh, have it in bark, grow it in bark because it came like that from the nursery and I've got this from Orchids and More uh, Germany, uh, a nursery in Germany and um, it came in, in bark so I used to grow it in bark but since I've converted this into semi-hydro I've noticed that I knew that, always knew that uh, the orchid uh, needs lots of uh, water more than a normal dendrobium um, but since I've converted it into semi-hydro I've noticed that this was a very good idea because um, uh, orchid started growing lots and lots of pseudobulbs um, this past summer for me about I don't know five or six uh, new pseudobulbs uh, which they will be blooming next year and also as you can see I have three and there was I think one more that uh, finished flowering uh, one two three four um, 
I think five flower spots for this year, which is not bad at all for this size of orchid. And uh, I owe it to semi hydroponic setup, I think, um, because um, they have water, but um, they 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 can have water whenever they like to, and they never get. Um, I don't usually let it dry, but they don't mind if they dry in between. So I've um, I water it every every week, fill up the the reservoir, um, but. Um, if it's empty for a few days, they don't mind it because they're dendrobium and they are uh, drought tolerant. Um, but uh, they enjoy water, as I've uh, noticed. And I use rainwater mixed with um, uh, fertilizers. Um, so um, I'm very happy that I've uh, converted it into semi hydro setup. As you can see, um, there are lots of algae, so I'll be repotting it this uh, spring and uh, this coming spring. But for now, I'm just enjoying the, the flowers. Really nice uh, display of flower. I keep it in my kitchen windowsill, and they thrive. They love the. Um, they don't like too much of a hot sunshine, um, but. Um, for for UK is fine because um, you know we don't have that much of a sunshine anyway, um, so I keep it in a south facing window sill in my kitchen and they enjoy it. They don't mind the the, the cold draft of the window as well in in winter now, um, and yeah, as you can see, it's just enjoying her her life and I'm enjoying the the flowers the bloom. So I brought the other one, uh, Latoria dendrobium, that I got just recently, I think um, about maybe two months ago I got this one. And this is Dendrobium Roy Tokunaga, um, Tokunaga uh, from <coughs> uh, Schwerter. And I've converted this one as well into semi-hydro, so um, I'm hoping to get good results. Uh, for this one as well and uh, so far it's good I mean it's too early to say anything but uh, so far no yellowing leaf or anything like that happened to this so I'm very happy with um, some semi hydro setup for Latorias and I've almost converted all of my Latorias into into this setup so I think that would be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my uh, collab with uh, Nina and I encourage uh, other people if they have um, similar um, orchids with her um, to make a video and um, you know collab with her and we all can um, learn from each other and enjoy our videos. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and Nina's channel, please go ahead and do that now. And um, give this video and Nina's video a thumbs up uh, if you enjoyed. And um, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.